it has the best cutscene ever in a shmup and the music in the cutscene. But I'm gonna go back to playing a superstar soldier later. Yeah, I'm not really good with Rockman, Mega Man, whatsoever. Uh, I think the best one I can play is uh, Mega Man X4 as Zero, but like I'm I'm really bad at it. This music is amazing. Akola, you have never heard of Final Mission? This is like, uh, like the top, like it's in the top ten shmups ever made for NES. This is Final Mission. I'm gonna re like let the intro play again because I like it so much. This game is like uh, really tough. I can barely get to like I think I can do like stage uh, three where there is a battle rate. Uh, I'm just gonna play it. Natsume made actually really good games. My favorite Natsume game is actually uh, Kage. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Kage, but like Kage is really awesome. This is also yes known as SCAT, but unfortunately the intro is not there in the SCAT version uh, because uh, apparently they thought it was too much for American audiences to like you know relive the atomic bomb explosions and stuff and all. I don't know. It was never there. And what kind of like name for a game is Scat? <laughs> like, why the hell would you play something named Scat? Final Mission sounds just so much cooler. Scat is much an, uh, is an easier version of this because if you hit enemies, uh, it doesn't like uh, take away your power up, so that makes it easier. Plus, your secondary shot is much more powerful. This is the harder version, and I'm not really sure if I can, like, I haven't played this quite a lot, so I'm not really good at it. Ah, crap. Oh, die. <laughs> the intro is the coolest thing about this game, man. Really? Action in New York? Action in New York? <laughs> what kind of action in New York can you guess? Hooker action? I don't know. Like.
Let's see if I can get to the uh, the battleship stage. But fuck, fuck, shit. Okay, I'm gonna let the intro repeat again, and then I'm gonna play Scat because it's much easier. <laughs> Simply because I'm a scrub. Okay, sorry, uh, let's get back to the intro. This music is really beautiful. It's like, it, I don't know, it incites some kind of like a deep emotion in you. Like something bad really is going down. Okay, so I'm going to play the uh, the US version now with sucks. But since it's easier, I can show you like the stages and all. I don't really know if this thing has an intro. Yeah, but it has an intro. Look at this intro. And look at they, what, what they did to it. Look at how it, they butchered it.
Yes, you are playing Arnold Schwarzenegger in a bright blue wife beater and some chick. Sigourney Weaver, what the fuck? <laughs> She's 25. She was born in Canada. Is this bad? Because I think this is bad. I think they should have stuck with the original opening. But you get to choose between the red dude, Arnold, and Sigourney Weaver. And I'll play as a chick because, come on, why not? And is a it has a Dai Maku, Makura kind of uh, oh, and there are a bunch of differences in this version as well because you can see if I leave, it doesn't lock. Your bots don't lock in this as in like they don't stay the same. Keep uh, uh, revolving if you let them unlocked, which unlike the the, the Japanese version, which uh, which actually follows you around like. Uh, so whichever direction you move, it points away from that direction. And this gives you more lives. And I think your shot is actually more powerful in this. Because it usually takes a little bit more effort to take down the enemies. I'm only playing this version so you can, I, if I can get to the uh, the carrier section, which is really, really, really impressive. It's 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 a carrier raid, and it's like it's pretty awesome. They gave, uh, you can see that like they humanize the sprites a bit, the heads are different, where in the Japanese version it's just a uh, helmet kind of a thing. It's a contra head with the headband. The side shots are really powerful in uh, this version. So it's this is like a really really easier version of the game. I'm sorry, I left out a little girl screen. Ah, fuck you. See, that that's that's what I'm talking about. I got hit. But I didn't lose the weapon. I'm sorry, I was supposed to stream Superstar Soldier, but like, come on. Uh, I had to show you this. Ah! Yes!
also this version has auto fire. So if you had the NES controller that did not have auto fire, this would have been like the way easier version to play, obviously. Just because it has auto fire. Unless and until you had an auto fire enabled controller, which this the game itself is pretty nice because uh, this version is a lot easier, but the gameplay is almost the same. It, it doesn't really change all that much, except that it's way easier. And for the, like for notice, fuck these snakes. I did not want that. Why? Ah. Fuck you. Yes. Whatever that was. Yeah. Oh, that's a life. Bomb's actually the most powerful weapon in this game, but the rate of fire is so slow, it's pointless. Yes. I don't know how I escaped that. No, I didn't escape that. All that. You have to see the, the battleship raid section, I think that's the ne next stage. Because I think that's I ever like the farthest I ever made it in final mission. Check out this boss, it's really 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 fun, but I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I dig the boss music, definitely. Counter explosion sound. Let me get. No, this is not the battleship section. Was it after this stage? No, wait. Uh, I don't remember this section. What the fuck's happening? Die, die. What the fuck? Where is the speed power up? I'm too slow for the shape. Oh yeah, I remember this section. Uh, Bandy is a good word to describe it. What the fuck are you? Die. I got hit. I got hit.
I know only two games made by Natsume. One is uh, Kage, Blue Shadow, or uh, Shadow Ninja, and this one. Did they make any other games? Uh, good ones, at least. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Wild Guns? Is it a shmup? Or... Have I ever heard of Wild Guns? I don't think so. Maybe if I played I might remember. Give me speed. Game is a wild shmup. Uh, well, sorry, wild guns. <gasps> nice. This is like elevator action. SNES, um, yeah, I never really had a SNES while growing up, so that's, that's, I think, the reason I've never heard of it. battle raid section now oh Pokey and Rocky I love that game I'm terrible at it but I love that game and this this section is gonna be batshit insane because I remember nothing of this section at all I think it goes into the battleship section now, which I'm gonna pause for and grab a drink. Mmm, beer is good. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, this is the battleship raid. I hope so. Is it? Or is it they, they change it on the stage layout for the, the PAL version? Because I remember Battleship Raid being much earlier than this. What the fuck? No, this is the one. Yes. This you gotta check out, guys. This is like the neatest Battleship Raid I've seen in the game.
It's definitely much easier in this version than uh, in Final Mission, but then again, I really had to try hard to get get to the battleship section in the Final Mission. That game is really tough. Oh my God. What the fuck am I doing? There we go. Also, uh, Ebroxy, how is uh, Final Boss coming along? <laughs> yeah, steadily. I really like uh, Final Boss, uh, especially the color scheme because, um, well, when I was in like, I think um, the ninth grade or something, we have grade still 12 and that's high school for you. So, in the ninth grade, I bought, went out and bought two. Uh, markers, no, uh, sketching pens, which was orange and blue. So, and I actually like uh, devoted quite a lot of time uh, doing stuff in orange and blue, like uh, contrasting eyes, uh, where the outlines would be uh, blue and the, the, end, the pupils and the iris and everything would be orange. And when I first saw Final Boss, that's what it reminded me of. I was like, whoa, someone actually did it. And the game, it's... Die! Oh, we gotta kill this guy. What the fuck? Die, motherfucker. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, so, like, and obviously the references. Yes, bonus. I'm serious. I, I don't have the sketch pens anymore. I don't do that kind of art anymore. But I spent about, like, six months working on something like that. Where it was just, like, uh, orange and blue sketch pens. What I can do with that. It was pretty interesting and I was like really happy to see someone actually took up that like uh, that direction and I was surprised because I could never actually do something like Final Boss. The art in that is amazing. I was never that good. I was okay but yeah the art in Final Boss is amazing. So I always had a dream of like making like just two contrasting colors and what you can do with it. The limitations and how you can like uh, you know do something amazing, something like Final Boss. <laughs> Hello Alexa, yes, welcome to the Poop Show, this is Scat. Uh, I think I got to uh, the latest build, I think I got to like stage 2 or something. I did not credit feed, no, because I am, to be honest, I'm waiting for the finished version so I can uh, play it thoroughly, but like the demo versions, every time a new demo comes out, I download it and play it. I usually spend like maybe a credit or so at max, but not too many, because I usually like uh, 
I don't like like credit feeding too much. Maybe one or two credits at the max. And here, I'm just hoping I can get to the final. Yeah, this is the final uh, section of this battleship raid, and this is amazing. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna die here because there's no way I can clear this thing. Bloody fucking hell! Yes. No. Fuck. If I do continue, I think I'm going to start at the beginning of the stage.